flight speed limit is 60 kilometers per hour. guys and welcome to Petroped and welcome to the motion simulation LC series home simulator. It has finally arrived. I have much to tell you about and by the looks of it much to learn. See there you go my car in the wall at McLean's at Donington Park. <laughs> But by far and away, the biggest challenge I'm gonna have filming this series of videos is space for filming. We've set up the sim in my office. A couple of reasons. One, it was pretty much the only place in the house where there was space to put the sim, but also it was actually the only place I was allowed to put it from Mrs. Petroped. Um, I've got lots of videos planned um, down the line with this simulator and with motion simulation. In this particular video, I want to just talk a little bit more about the LC series. Now, hopefully by now, you've tuned into the two videos I've done already. The first one, my first experience of a proper sim, I went to Veloce Esports and drove this sim's big brother, a 50,000 pound simulator that was just incredible. 200 degree wraparound screen, so immersive. But the really cool thing is the sim behind me borrows an awful lot of the technology from that, just in a smaller home form factor. The LC series is gonna come in three different flavors. There's the LC series, the LC Pro series, and then finally what's behind me effectively is the LC Pro series full turnkey solution. In this video, I just wanna talk about what the LC series sim is, those three different variants, and just review the main components. Um, so let's get cracking and just have a chat about the LC sim itself. And what I also want to do in this video is compare it to one of the market leading home sims, the PlaySeat. Now I'm not going to be able to set the PlaySeat up and run the simulator with it, but I've got one and we can have a sit in it and just feel what the ergonomics are like. Okay, let's talk through the basics of the LC series. It's quite difficult, I guess, because I've got the full turnkey solutions. You have to start kind of removing stuff in your mind's eye. So I'll put some pictures above. The, the basic LC series would be this kind of bottom chassis and you can actually opt for it without the seat. So you could use your own seat and attach it to the cockpit chassis itself. You wouldn't have the steering wheel or the pedals, um, but what you would still get access to is the really unique feature of this L series, and this is this variable driving position that we showed you in the last video. You pull this little pin out just here, and then the cockpit or the seat slides up and down on a really nice smooth set of rollers. And you've got four different driving positions from a really laid back formula position to a sat upright saloon car position. So it really helps you get into that kind of full immersion of the type of car that you're driving. The other thing you can do is you can basically move the steering wheel up and down and then what is really cool about this is that everything's really solid. There's no movement at all. But those two features, uh, irrespective of which level you get, you're going to get access to those. Um, you could then opt for the seat. There are two different seat designs. But if you went for the LC Pro series, you get this lovely binnacle on the top. And then the full turnkey solution, you'd be provided with the highest grade steering wheel and pedals like you have here. And they are awesome. 
Just in terms of the rest of the setup, I'm running this particular sim on a, a high-end PC. Um, at the moment, I'm using iRacing as the platform. I've actually got accounts with a number of different um, driving simulators, but I'm going to be using iRacing. I've got Assetto Corsa as well. But for now, because I'm new to this whole eSports um, uh, simulator driving thing, I'm just going to stay with iRacing on a number of familiar tracks to me and just stick with a, a small number of cars just to really get my eye in. And then the plan is I'm going to be doing some online racing. I'm going to have some online tuition with some guys that really know what they're doing and just see how easy it is. I'm a complete novice at this. I've, I've, I've driven a couple of computer games in the past, but I've never, ever done anything like this before. And I thought it'd be quite interesting to kind of follow my journey into the world of uh, home racing. We might even arrange a petrol ped race. Let me know in the comments if you think that would be a good idea because uh, I think that would be great fun. So let's jump in the seat and I'll talk through another couple of the key features of this LC series. One of the reasons I was so keen to get involved in this project is I have an engineering background. I did a degree in manufacturing engineering and I love good design and I love well-made things. Firstly, I think this aesthetically looks great, but it is so well made and it's all made in the UK. So one of the things I'm going to be doing in videos down the line is I'm really keen to get to go to some of the, the suppliers, the companies that physically make the product that I'm sat in on because it, it just has, it's got such a solid feeling. And that's really important in a sim, even in my limited experience so far. If you're using a high-end steering wheel like this, the force feedback you get through this steering wheel is, is huge. It tires your arms, and if you have a crash, believe me, you let go of the steering wheel, otherwise you're gonna break your thumbs. And when you've got a, a really good pedal box like I've got on this, and you, the force you can put into the pedals, you can put some 100 kilos of force into the brake pedal, so you need to be sure that things aren't gonna move around. And that, for me, is the overriding thing when I'm sat in here, it is solid, as a solid thing, very, very well made. Now it has some really nice other features as well. In terms of controlling things, the PC that controls it is out of my reach and this isn't a touch screen, so everything is done with a wireless keyboard. And you've got this really cool little keyboard tray that slides underneath the seat to keep your keyboard so you can go and you know change your settings or do whatever you need to do and then when you finish doing that rather than just having to put it down on the floor you just put it on there and you slide that underneath your seat and you get on with your driving i love things like that so so far i've i've only had this a few days i've done a couple of hours in it it's quite addictive i have to say um, but what i thought i'd do now is jump into one of the market leading um home sim seats the play seat and just have a a feel and a compare and contrast. I think it's got its work cut out, if I'm honest. See, here it is, one of the market leaders, the play seat. First thing to say is, it, it is a smaller, lighter, maybe more mobile unit than the LC, if you wanted to move it around your house. Things that strike me straight away is it is one fixed driving position. You're in a very laid back formula position. Uh, clearly this one is naked. There's no sim on it. You'd attach your steering wheel here and your pedal box here. You do have some adjustments. There's a kind of almost like a quick release mechanism, similar to what you'd find on a, on a push bike. You can, you can move that in and out. It's not, it doesn't, it doesn't have that nice kind of solid, well-made feel as you move that in and out. Uh, just lock that off and then again there's another one under here for uh, pedals so you can move your pedal box along uh, and you can also here you can move the reach as well as the height using that so I'm guessing you know you'd only set this up once but so you, you've got some adjustment and some customization I just take a sit in it though the thing that strikes me straight away is you're super low to the ground um, and you're in that very laid back formula position. The seat's quite comfortable actually. Um, and it does feel pretty rigid. It's difficult to get a proper comparison. I clearly need to move those pedals back even further. Um, but it just feels like a completely different kind of category. The LC just feels more rigid, better made, um, and, and just for that little bit extra price, I know which one I'd, I'd opt for. This is the market leader. The other thing is, I'm not sure if I was to sit in this for a very, very long period of time, that the seat on the LC is, 
is really comfy. Hmm, interesting. Now, let's head back to the LC and get some driving done. <clears throat> also, getting yourself out at my age. <laughs> in the LC. Last couple of things. Um, I'm involved in this project really, really early and this is actually a pre-production model. Um, the full-blown production model is due any time now. It's got some improvements over this, some little tweaks, nothing major to be fair. Um, but over the next kind of coming weeks and months, um, well I might change out this sim but we also might upgrade some of the parts. In terms of pricing and, and, and all the details of, of, of motion simulation, I'll put those in the description of the video below. But to summarize, the basic LC series without the seat starts from £995 plus shipping and taxes. Um, the cockpit and seat that I have here is £1,700, but that doesn't include the steering wheel and the pedals. If you want the full turnkey solution, it really depends on how much you want to spec and what kind of um, steering wheel and pedals you choose and PC and so on. The setup that we've got here with the TV screen and the stand, this particular wheel, pedals and PC, you're looking at around about £6,000 but they're still finalising exactly what that pricing is going to be. There's also going to be, we haven't really talked too much about the screen, there's going to be a triple screen option as well if you've got the space. Sadly, at the moment, I haven't got the space, but if you have, that would really add to the immersion um, of your driving experience. But for now, I'm going to leave it there. I need to jump back into iRacing and get practicing again because I've got some things coming up that I really, really do need to be much better than I am right now. <laughs> so I think I'm going to head back to Donington Park and crash this car a few more times. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that one. If you have done so, please give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come. I'll put all motion simulations details below and give them a follow on social. But for now, I'm going to go to Donington Park and I'll see you on the next film, guys. You take care. Drive safe.